Hi, everybody, and welcome to another Linfield Coaches Cat Chat, our first of the year for the Linfield Women's Basketball Program. Joe Stewart here with you on the LSN with head women's basketball coach Casey Bone Wilson. For the first time this year, Casey, how you doing? Doing great. Thanks for having me. Of course. Happy to have you. So excited that uh, basketball is literally right around the corner. You guys open your season Monday night uh, at Oregon Tech. Um, and you've been having scrimmages and, and practices and just watching the team. It, it looks like a real exciting group this year. Uh, what has been the feeling through, uh, you know, preseason practices, your handful of scrimmages, exhibitions, that sort of thing? Um, what's, the, what's the vibe around the team right now? And we're just, what are your general thoughts on the team this year? I think the general vibe is excitement, excited to have a normal season, um, to get back on the, the court against other people. You know, the, the two scrimmages that we've had, we've seen a lot of, um, we've been battling. We're strong, we're quick, um, we're learning, we're young, but we have some returners that are taking good leadership. So right now it's just kind of a mix of all kinds of things. We're ironing a bunch of stuff out, but the overall consensus is that we're very excited to play other teams and, um, you know, stop beating up on each other. Yeah, definitely. I got to imagine after only getting to play, what, three, four different teams all last spring? I'm, I'm sure everybody is excited for a more uh, diverse schedule for sure. Uh, but you mentioned those returners, and you got a good group this year, um, some real great character young women on the team uh, that have been around for a few years, you know, have a real uh, piece of this culture in, in the program. Uh, what are your expectations for them, and who do you think are going to kind of be the leaders of the team this year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our returners have taken on a huge leadership role overall, just with the program and last year and bringing so many new players on this year. Is like they know what we expect. Um, you know, they're getting the team in order, and the expectations um, are there, and they've been doing a really good job of getting us to that where we're at right now. I mean, they they had a lot of time in the off season with strength and conditioning and open gyms and stuff that they didn't get last year that they've really been able to bring the newcomers along quickly which is awesome and it's crazy to think we have we have four seniors and maggie's the only one that's been here um the whole four years obviously oh, but kind of surprising. since we traveled um last she was the only one so yeah. like the last time we went to california maggie's the only one that uh, had been through that it is kind of surprising when you know you just think about Brooke Delaney. Like it seems like all your all your returners, you know, they just feel so ingrained in the program already, which I think says a lot just about the overall culture of the program. But these freshmen uh, looks like an exciting group. Uh, watching the, your your scrimmage yesterday against uh, Lewis Clark State, um, looks like you've got quite a few that are going to be working into the rotation. Is that something we can expect to see in uh, regular season play? Yeah, so um, our, we have a really talented freshman group. There's a lot of them, so there's a learning curve. They're having to learn a lot quickly, uh, which I know will pay off in the end. Right now, we're just, like I said, ironing out some things and um, getting everybody on the same page is important. The greatest thing about this group is, one, they're talented and they work hard, and so I think they'll get there quickly. Not much more you can ask for besides that, right? Yeah. Um, so now taking a quick look back at last year, obviously a difficult year in a lot of different ways for programs all across the country. Um, what are going to be some of the things you're looking to carry over, some of the positive things you're looking to carry over from last year, um, and some of the things that you think the group needs to improve on as a whole? Uh, our culture is something that will carry over for sure. Like I said, our returners have been doing a great job um, and continuing our culture and our traditions that we've put in. Um, something new will be a little bit bigger, which is nice. Um, we'll be quicker, um, we'll be faster, and we'll be stronger mentally and physically, which is always a plus. Definitely. And then uh, finally, so it's uh, quite a road-heavy start to the season for you guys. No home games until the Northwest Conference, uh, your first Northwest Conference home game on all the way on December 4th. Uh, what are going to be some of the challenges from that, but also what are the things that you're going to be able to draw from that positively to carry with you through conference play? Mm -hmm. We're going to get to know each other very well on yeah. the road, and <laughs> that's a positive. We'll spend a lot of time together, which will be good. Um, I'm excited to get out on the road and play some away games. And then, yeah, you know, this that's just kind of how scheduling worked out. We won't be able to play at home. I was glad we got a home scrimmage here last night. But it's kind of the way it goes, and we'll adapt. What are going to be some of the first things that you're going to be looking for through just the first handful of games here against Oregon Tech and then in your trip down to California? Uh, we got to take care of the ball, and we have to rebound. Um, we have to play team defense, and I think the rest will take care of itself. 
All right, well, there you go. And again, the uh, Linfield women's basketball team opening their season this Monday, November 8th at Oregon Tech down in Klamath Falls against a tough NAIA opponent. They'll be looking for the win, of course, though. And then on the road to their trip to California, quick tournament in Forest Grove. And finally, you'll be uh, back here in McMinnville on December 4th against Lewis and Clark. Casey, thanks for the time. Thank you.